Hi everybody, welcome to day nine of 21 Days of Tapping into Your Creative Self. Well, today's video, we're going to tap on perfectionism. Um, I had a perfect title for it. The, the title was The Perfect Excuse. And then I thought, nah, that's not perfect. It's a bit too judgmental. And so that had to go. So a part of us says that perfectionism is a good thing. It's about striving to be our best, about creating things which don't have flaws. Um, but unfortunately, it also goes hand in hand with that other deadly enemy, procrastination, and stops us either from starting or completing creative projects. Or if we do manage to complete them and put them out there, then we can suffer from here until eternity, beating ourselves up because it's just not good enough and it's not perfect. I, I have, for example, I've made a couple of CDs with my violin and there's one of them where there's one piece with just a couple of little notes which are not quite in tune and I just can't listen to the CD. And other people have said to me, it's pretty nice. <laughs> so let's do some tapping. So first of all, what I want you to think about is something you've created or something you're planning to create. And I want you to say to yourself, it's got to be perfect. And on a scale of one to 10, how true is that? And what kind of feelings does it bring up? And where those emotions, where do you feel them in your body? And it'll probably also bring up some memories. So let's do some tapping. Even though it's got to be perfect, I love and accept myself completely. Even though it's got to be perfect, I love and honor myself completely. Even though it's got to be perfect, there can't be anything wrong with it. It has to be completely perfect or it's just unacceptable. And even though it's got to be perfect, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. There's no point doing this unless it's perfect. I've been taught that over and over again. I remember all those essays with red pen marks. Something which I thought was pretty good. It was different if I didn't really try. But when I made a great effort, put my heart and soul into something, and then was criticized, I learned it has to be perfect. And if it isn't perfect, I want nothing to do with it. I'm not even going to get started. I'm not going to complete it. All this need for it to be perfect. And all the feelings that brings up. All the sadness. All the anger at myself. Because I'm so not perfect. And all this need for it to be perfect. What is the point of doing it? It's not perfect because I'm so imperfect. All this sadness, all this disappointment, and all this need to give myself a hard time. I am so cruel to myself. The things I say to myself, you're useless. 
oh my God, that's horrible. Give up right now. Everyone else is going to hate it. They're going to see all those mistakes, all those imperfections, imperfect and they're going to judge you for it. They won't like it. They won't like you. It's so imperfect. All this sadness, all this dread, there's just no point putting it out there. So just take a breath. See how you're feeling, what kind of thoughts came up. And when you say it's got to be perfect, what happens now? There's a quote by Brene Brown. She says, many people think of perfectionism as striving to be your best, but it is not about self-improvement. It's about earning approval and acceptance. I thought that one was very interesting. So let's just do a little tapping round on that. So say to yourself, I really need approval and acceptance. And how true is that on a scale of one to 10? If there's anything more than a two, let's see if we can tap on it. <sighs> Even though I really need approval and acceptance, I love and accept myself completely even though I really need approval and acceptance. I love and honor myself completely. Even though I really need approval and acceptance from other people and from myself. And I so often don't get it. And even though I really need approval and acceptance, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. I need approval and acceptance. I really need approval and acceptance. I really need approval and acceptance. I've always needed it. It's part of the human condition. If we're not accepted, if we're rejected, it doesn't feel safe. It certainly doesn't feel good. So why create things that mean that I run the risk of being rejected. This part of me that needs approval and acceptance tells me not to even try. All this need for approval and acceptance. There were so many times when I didn't get it, when I really wanted it. Maybe it was from my parents, from my teachers, from other children around me, or from my colleagues. All these times when I haven't got approval and acceptance. I'm healing them now. Healing them from every cell in my body healing them from my energy system. All the way back through every time that I wanted approval and acceptance and I didn't get it. Or not to the extent that I needed. I'm healing it now. And I choose to give myself acceptance and the things that I'm creating, I choose to approve and accept them. It starts from here. 
So take a breath. See how you're feeling now. And remember what Salvador Dali said. Have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. So let's do two, one last tiny round about being not a perfectionist, but being a high achiever. I choose to be a high achiever and I choose to love and accept myself completely. I choose to be a high achiever and I choose to love and honor myself completely. I choose to be a high achiever I don't need to be a perfectionist. I don't need to be per perfect. I do choose to be a high achiever. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. I choose to be a high achiever. I'm allowing myself to be a high achiever. Whatever that means for me. I allow that for myself and I allow myself to enjoy this so that when I create things, I can look on them with satisfaction and feel really good about them and really good about myself, knowing that I'm a high achiever knowing that I am incredibly creative, that I have the desire and I'm following through. Releasing anything that stops me, letting it go, healing what needs to be healed so that I can be a really high achiever and feel really good about it. Okay, so take a breath. See how you're feeling now. Anything that came up for you, do a bit more tapping on it. And we'll carry on tomorrow. And this was so not perfect, so apologies for that. But I'm going to put it out there anyway. <laughs>